Hello Starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my Starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm here in my turban and my robe feeling all glam and I'm going to try some glitter lips. Yes, they have been popular trending all over social media. I want to give them a try. I feel like there's a lot of companies coming out with them. This is a pretty affordable brand. It's Tattoo Junkie. Some people have said you can buy it at Walgreens. I've only found it online. I haven't found it in my Walgreens anywhere. I'm going to start off with the packaging. I hate this kind of packaging. It's like battery packaging that you have to kind of like cut into. Bugs me a little bit because there's just really no way to do it nicely. This is basically the Sparkle Lip Paint and Lip Effects Long Lasting Liquid Matte Lip Color. Long Lasting Smudge Proof Dries Matte Prismatic Sparkle Effects. And I got the shade Pucker Up, which is their red. And it comes with their liquid lipstick and their like glitter pot here, I guess is what this is. I don't know, the glitter looks really fine to me. It doesn't look like, like I was expecting like glitter, glitter, not just a metallic, but We'll see. All right, directions for you. Start with clean, dry lips. Shake the tube of lip paint well before application. Using the wand inside the cap, apply tattoos, lip paint on the lips. Lip paint is stale day smudge proof formula. Allow the lip paint to dry. Then dab your finger into the effects and apply to your lips for a purely prismatic pout. To remove, simply use your favorite makeup remover. It says clean, dry lips, but I feel like I really need to like line the outside of my lips to make sure I get a nice sharp line. My lips are clean. I use the lip plumper, the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Just to gonna do the outside, I'm not gonna do any fancy contouring or anything because I wanna get a good sense of how well this lasts, but I just felt like I just get a much more even line with liquid lipsticks when I line the outside of my lips. It smells nice. It's not like a really strong smell. It's a nice smell. That applied really nicely, really evenly. It dried pretty quickly too, because when I blot just blotted, not too much came off. It does, it feels like it's drying quickly. It doesn't feel too dry yet, but it doesn't feel sticky at all. So that's a good sign. Applied nice and evenly. I felt like I had good control. I'm gonna let this dry a bit. Love the color. Beautiful, beautiful red. It's nice pigment too. Doesn't feel thick. Feels nice. Yeah, this feels like it's pretty dry. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get my finger in here, but I managed to make it work. So let's dot this on. Okay, couple things. One, this isn't a glitter. I totally thought when I googled this that this was the glitter and it says it's the sparkle one and maybe they don't make the glitter one anymore I don't know because this was the closest I could find to the glitter on their website and this isn't glitter this is shimmer it's actually like a really fine fine shimmer and you know it, it just like it turns into a powder just fine if you can see like my lips don't look like they're glittery they look shimmery well it doesn't look bad this just isn't what I thought I was getting. So there's that. The other thing that bothers me a little bit about this, other than the fact that I kind of feel a little duped, when this went on, this lip paint, it was this beautiful, beautiful, like bright blue red. And the glitter part, the shimmer glitter lip effect here is more, has more of like a burgundy pink to it. So when I put it on my lips, it completely changes the color. So it makes it more of a shimmer, shimmery burgundy. I was kind of hoping that this would keep more of like that like bright blue red. I don't know. I, I don't hate it so far. I'm just a little disappointed because I, this isn't what I thought I was getting and that could be my fault. I'm still gonna wear this today throughout the day. Stay tuned and I'll let you know how this holds up. Okay, glitter lips update. I actually, this has just been a couple minutes. I don't know if you can really see it, but I just went and looked in natural light. I got like some smudges here, but yeah, you can't really tell in the camera, but it does have a little bit of a sparkle. Like it's more than just an iridescence, but when I first put it on, it was like on my finger and then just in the camera, it didn't show up. So I'm sorry for the extreme close up on my face. This is uncomfortable for probably everyone but yeah there is actually very fine sparkly glitter in there 
So I kind of take back a little bit. It's still not the glitter that I was expecting it to be. Like it's still not like sparkle. But I am still really impressed that this, like I started looking at it like in natural light and in a mirror and I was like, all right, there is some glitter in there. I'll let you guys know how it holds up throughout the day. Hey guys, so it is the end of the day. I have had a lot of water. I had lunch, which actually, my lunch tends to have kind of like, I use like coconut oil and stuff like that in a lot of cooking. I try to get some healthy fats in. So most of my lipsticks, you know, the minute I have lunch, it's like, it's totally worn off. This held up. I did get some transfer like on my water bottle, on my teacup. Uh, so it definitely isn't completely transfer proof, although it's good. Like it holds up really well and I was amazed at how long it lasts. There's still some shimmer on there if you can tell. I mean it did smudge a little bit. It's worn off a little bit in the center, but there is still some sparkle on there. I'm just still amazed at how well it held up. My lips do feel a little bit dry, but not excessively dry. And they're gonna feel a little bit dry with long wearing lipsticks anyway. That's just, that's just what happens. But not excessively, like I don't feel like my lips are bothering me or anything. I do think that putting the, and what do you call it, enhancer product on it does make it feel a little bit heavier than an average lipstick, but not excessive. And I didn't, it didn't feel uncomfortable. It's just that I knew it was on my lips all day. It didn't feel like completely weightless, but it definitely didn't bother me. So I do think for a special occasion, I actually really like this. I think it could be a good, I don't know, it could be a good option, a fun night out. It's not gonna be an everyday thing, probably. You know, for a special occasion, for something fun, I'm really, really, impressed with this. I'm a little disappointed that the the shade changed so much. Like it went from like that bright fun red to more of like the deeper red. I like both shades. I'm just a little disappointed that the shade changed that much. That's really my only downfall to this. Other than that, and I don't know how much of the glitter shimmer I actually ingested throughout the day, but other than that, I think it's fun. I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a good lip product, and I think, I mean, I had fun with it. I'll probably use it again. Price point was great. I mean, I'm gonna leave all the details in the description box below if you want to check this product out. If you have any other products you want me to test out, review, anything, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. Love your suggestions. If you like this video, found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. It helps to boost the video and everything. A while back, I was actually suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life, and I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.